and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nightfall Jinx. That's right, we're going to be trying to make Jinx work. We got another donation deck. We're going to be playing some Jinx with some Nightfall cards and Targon. Um, we got Diana as our other champion to go along with Jinx. But for the most part, we're going to be kind of like a, a curve out aggro deck. We got some elusives with Lunari Shade Stalker, some big overwhelms with Crescent Guardian. We can pump stuff up with Mentor of the Stones. Um, of course, we have great cards like Pale Cascade. But we're going to be doing a lot of discarding. Discarding with Zonite Urchin and Spacey Sketcher. We can either discard like the extra Dusk Petal Dusk that these create, or or our Flame Chompers, or the um, the gems the Mentor of the Stones creates. That's another good thing to discard. Our Sump Dredger. Also going to be discarding because we want to empty our hand to be able to level up Jinx. An Augmented Experimenter can get along with that too. So yeah, we kind of got to curve out aggro with just some, some different cards that you don't necessarily see a whole bunch. Um, but should be pretty sweet. It's always good to, to try new things, play new things, and just try a, a different Jinx deck. Because yeah, Jinx isn't played a whole lot. We don't see a whole lot of Jinx running around. And so finding, um, you know, trying to get different combinations there. Um, that's what the person donating for the deck wanted to do. All right, let's just keep this hand all one and two mana cards. I like that. I don't really want to discard any of these th cards. As far as Zonite Urchin's concerned. Um, we're going to a little bit of a slow start. I guess Mentor of the Stones can go. I'm just gonna Mystic Shot that thing before they have Noxion Fervor and everything. Because basically, I want to be able to play Nightfall cards afterwards, after I play something else. What's up, Cabo? Uh, the only change is it took out Elixir of Iron. Like my favorite card, I know, I know. But took out Elixir of Iron and am playing. Yeah. Um, played the Troll Chant instead. And Troll Chant was good. Troll Chant definitely looked good. So that was the only change in Ash Sejuani. And now we find the Flame Chompers after we've discarded everything. <laughs> we'll probably find another way to discard. Or not. If they don't break, they'll burn. Make the Empire proud. Guns blaze. Ah, those are very good block. So just taking a lot of damage. Kind of see how it works out for us. Don't want any of these. I guess Moonglow for the plus zero plus two. Who's ready for a show? Find your own light within the darkness. Yours. Find your path in the dark. And follow no false light. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I definitely should have discarded the Chompers. You're right. I guess I'd discard the other card. I don't know. I ordered a microphone stand this morning. <laughs> I need to get one. Because a lot of times, I like, I like this, you know, with the microphone, like, I can't actually see... 
Um, like I, I can't see the Shade Stalker, the Duskbringer, the sh this or or the Chompers, and I kind of just miss the Chompers. <laughs> Forgot about it. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. Cygnus could be a good option for this deck. Forgive me, whatever the cost. It's our time. Yeah, discarding Flame Chompers would have been better. Face your heretic. I mean, I don't. I don't know. This is going to be difficult from here. We're going to need to draw Augmented Experimenter. Like, maybe I just need to get five damage on this Jack the Winner. I don't really know. Yeah, we're playing a Rune Terror on hard mode. Yep. I mean, I, I wish I would have grabbed the Equinox and silenced Jack the Winner. It's definitely what I wish I would have done. But yeah, it's not. It's not gonna matter. I couldn't draw Get Excited. I could only draw Gotcha, and we already discarded my Gotcha. It's awesome. So it's, it's that kind of thing. It's like the previous matchup, Progress Day, would not have been very good. This matchup, Progress Day, would be awesome. Get rid of the Mystic Shots. They don't get rid of the champions. We were peaceful once. I do really like Mentor the Stones with Flame Chompers. I like those two together. Oh my gosh, I just didn't even attack. <laughs> Hello, opponent. Alright, I gave you two life. You're welcome, Gohan. Um. No, I haven't. I haven't played Taskmaster Von Yip since. I haven't pl played Taskmaster Von Yip, Von Yip in a little while. I don't think I've played it since the new set's been out. Five five with tough, not easy to kill. Cavalry to the field. I can pump up Diana and kill that thing. Their sense travels in the night air. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish. No, I can't. Can I? Yeah. Discipline and steal. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. So I guess I played that other one mana card for no reason. I mean, my, my match of the stones are gone. Is 
So that O2 is not going to be nearly as valuable. these remembrances oh my gosh Ugh. not gonna make it easy on me all right Gohan have a good one so basically what I'm what I'm debating between right now is I could get excited them and then play the experimenter and just discard my whole hand and level up the jinx and, and you know just try to get as much nexus damage possible and just not worry about trying to do any damage attacking that's what I'm kind of thinking. Um, yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. The sun rock got me good. There's a blast from the past. Well. The other thing is, like, I could like gem these things up to be a little bit bigger, so they have single combats. You know, like, so we could actually make these like six power. Um, we could do that. We could like make all this stuff like six power. Work and tussle with them a little better. I think just kind of going going in and trying to kill them. I kind of like this plan. The answer is here somewhere. My hand basically is a bunch of nonsense. Immerse yourself in the unknown. Yeah, definitely expecting Radiant Guardians, right? So, like, we don't we don't actually want their things to die. Their 5-5 five, five toughs to die. Now it's a party! Of experiments. Hmm. Maybe I may have to. I don't know. Maybe I should get excited. The. Okay, maybe I need to get excited. The Heimerdinger, but of course, burst spells I can't respond to anyway. So burst spells don't really matter. Definitely wish I had one more mana that could play the Shade Stalker and play the Get Excited, Empty My Hand. But I guess that wouldn't really matter, because then I couldn't cast the Super Mega Death Rocket anyway. Seven. So many <sighs> well, now I kind of want to play another Lunari Shade Stalker. I can play this Sump Dredger with no hand, right? I guess it makes sense just to play this first. Watch your step. Room 
All right, we can Jinxes get excited them. Get a Super Mega Death Rocket. We also have all this elusive. So it should be game. It's kind of it's kind of weird playing against Radiant Guardian. I'm gonna play a weird game here. But Jinx can do a whole bunch of Nexus damage with all these get excited. Alright, so Super Mega Death Rocket Death or Elusive Death. Probably Super Mega Death Rocket. It's always a fun card to play. Alright, one and one. GG's. <laughs> yeah, on their side, if the thermogenic beam, like if I, if the thermogenic beam would have resolved if I didn't have any direct damage in hand and couldn't empty my hand, then I only, they were at seven and I only had six elusive damage. So it makes sense. They, they had a chance still. Um, Karma Leona. Alright, so rewarded for keeping the uh, discard card. See, my plan here was this on turn one, the Shade Stalker on turn two, Mentor on turn three. And I was gonna like mentor the stones, pump up the Shade Stalker. I could go a little bit slower, just go attack for two, play Sump Dredger, try to have the Mentor of the Stones pump up the Flame Chompers. Make Flame Chompers a four, a, a two four. They can take these things down on turn five. No, I like just getting the four power elusive. Yeah, that's a that's a daybreak curve, that's for sure. Hope out of that four five six celestial card it's not something that kills a four five elusive, hopefully. The dawn has arrived. Sure. Behold the divine power of the sun. That's the cool. Alright, we got a lot of cards to discard. Huh. Forgive me. Wanna play this Nightfall Diana? Our street is forever at its right. Blessed daylight I guess. My fault. The Solari will not suffer heretics or their lives. The Solari cannot tell heretics from true believers. You're all about this, the Solari. Alright, that was my bad. What once was two now? One. 
guess I don't really need to kill that lifesteal thing because they're not attacking with it. Okay, that end up that may end up being a mistake. Whatever the cost. Didn't have to do that because they didn't attack with it, but I figured they're gonna attack with it the next turn. But maybe the next turn by the next turn I'd have augmented experimenter for it. So I haven't played this this game the most cleanly. Should have had an additional attack in with the Shade Stalker. Ooh, they missed the Allegiance. Rude. All right, let's see what we get. Um, don't really need that serpent. We'll just take the moon silver to make the experimenter only cost five. I was hoping to find the the you know like the card that they found, the invoke. It's gonna silence the Robin, but yeah, that's good. That's good. We'll have five mana to unload our hand. Cool, those are pretty good. It's done another thing. Come on. Ignorant thrall. Our light grows brighter. Some treasure. They tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. Keep stunning everything. That's not cool. Down to six. I have the exact amount of mana I need. Be able to play both things and play Super Mega Death Rocket. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. I can have my Mentor of the Stones pump up this Shade Stalker. Of course, I want to play the Shade Stalker first, not the Mentor of the Stones first, right? Because if I play Mentor of the Stones first, then maybe they kill Mentor of the Stones before I play the Shade Stalker, and therefore I don't get to empty my hand, because then our hand would be filled with gems. Kind of 
seeing if this works. Okay, no deny. So they could have the gain five life card. Maybe they're sitting on that, star shaping. That could be something they're sitting on right now. Yeah, I don't know if it was worth attacking with these things. Yeah, there's star shaping. I guess that was not a good attack. So many Open your eyes. Yeah, th I guess those weren't a good attacks. Karma. Where there is life, there is hope. So would I rather have a random card in hand or a celestial card that costs three or less? Like, would I rather have one of my random cards? Probably one of my random cards. Could be Mystic Shot. Could help out. Because, of course, I wanted to empty my hand immediately. Oh, we had priority. Well, that is... While that is pretty cool, getting double... Plus two, plus two, double of that. Oh no! I was gonna say the game's over, but I guess the game's not over. Should have played the Shade Stalker to block, so I didn't have to block with Jinx. Oh no. Yeah, I forgot that that mana was going to go up also. The Cosmic Inspiration, it refills the spell mana. That's what that card does. I kind of forgot that too. I, I saw them like tapped out and kind of checked out thinking that we were going to win that. I definitely should have just played the Shade Stalker first. Meet destiny. Fear not death. Yeah, I thought that was GG also. I forgot about that refill. That was clutch. It's not gonna do it. And then gain 10. If, also, if I would have played the 2-3, it would have made my Diana go up to be 7 power instead of 5 power. So Diana would have been able to block Karma also. Um, so not only would we have had 5 blockers, they would have basically only been able to attack with 3 things. Because then they would not have been able to attack with Karma anymore. After I played that Nightfall and Diana go up to 7 power. Alright, looks like we got deep now. Um... All right, so I like the, the Sketcher into Flame Chompers. Turn one. Experimenter is like... I don't know, that, that seems like that could be an important card for turn six. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Maybe I take Equinox? Good. Those are good cards to toss. I'm just gonna trade those one ones. I'm gonna save flame chompers. I, I guess I could have dealt one point of damage to them, but oh well. Should have taken the messenger. Art. 
All right, so they're out of jettisons. One atrocity gone. So the thing I like about playing the Diana, yeah, they were going with the Wanderer, is I, I do like turning this into the Pale Cascade. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Act with caution. Strike when the moment is right. You know, Ash said Juani was good. It was good. Okay, let's see. So obviously this is gonna challenge this challenge here. It's do I want to do I want to buff up? Hmm, how do I wanna do this? Maybe we buff up this thing and challenge there. No more lies. I will be heard. Come a new phase of Wanna buff that thing up? No, we're gonna just trade away serpent. I cannot turn back. Face your heretic. Like this. <laughs> I'm gonna buff up this overwhelm thing, make it a 7-5 overwhelm. Like, either one, like, if I buff up Diana or Crescent Guardian, either one can get obliterated. Danger paid. Well, that's a problem. Because now I can't lead with Jinx, because I want to play Jinx and then Shadestalker. Big one. But I can't. Um, yeah, that's just a problem. Set the hooks. Okay, good. At least I'm not wasting all this mana. Better than he What kind of removal are they going to have? Maybe Grasp the Undying, maybe Vengeance. There we go. I decided just to, to spread out my damage so I wouldn't lose either one of those cards. Or a Shen to finish out with Nightfall Jinx. Come on, Jinx, you can do it. Let's get that 3 2 record. Alright, I like Urchin into Flame Chompers again. Um, yeah, we'll keep it all. I could just wait. I guess we don't have to play Urchin on turn one if I want to wait to help turn on Diana, but then that's again like turn three plus. We can probably find something to turn on Diana by then. Okay, well, we'll just play this. That works. That works. Um. Anything else? <laughs> Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. I don't know. Do I? 
Okay, so I can attack and we get seven damage in. Put them down to 11. Or I can not attack and then they don't get to play anything. No, we're gonna, we're gonna attack. Because we also, not only do we get the seven damage in, but then we also get the permanent plus two, plus two with the Mentor of the Stones. Huh. They have a bold strategy here of not play cards. Probably, probably me being too aggressive with that. They gotta have like single combats, right? Yeah, it does put that down to one health. One health, Shen. So assuming they want to put a barrier to protection, that's going to take some mana. And so since that's going to take some mana, um, that's already how they want to spend their mana this turn. And so I, I get to um, just advance my board um, and not go straight to attacks. Because that's something to think about. You know, like open attacking is usually good. But if you, if you already know kind of what your opponent wants to spend their mana on, on spells, when you open attack and you... You know, think about just putting more threats on the board, because then if you already know that, that they're kind of priced into um, doing that, of spending their mana on spells, put some more units out there. All right, we did it, Jinx. We were, went three and two. We actually went four and two, because, yeah, we played that warm-up game before we recorded just to kind of check the deck out, just to see how it went and, and won that one, too, against Midrange Frostbite. Um. So yeah, this one worked pretty well. It's nothing, nothing flashy. No, yeah, nothing flashy here. You know, just kind of curve out aggro, try to empty your hand, level up Jinx, start throwing Get Excited's and Super Mega Death Rockets at their face. And you have your Elusive. They can do some damage. You got some different challengers with your Flame Chompers and your Diana, so you can kind of <clears throat> kind of control combat a little bit with that and your quick attacks. And um, you can rifle through the deck a little bit with your urchins, your sum treasures, your pale cascades, your augmented experimenters all drawn cards. Pale cascade, of course, was still amazing. Playing some really good quality cards. Mystic shot, pale cascade. So get excited whenever the discard one doesn't matter. Definitely some good quality cards here. Um... Yeah, our last opponent didn't do anything. <laughs> they really didn't. Um, yeah, they must have, like, mulliganed all their cards and then gotten, like, six drops in Shen or something. Or, like, you know, two or three Shens. All right, but yeah, thank you so much, Powerful Wizard. Thanks for the donation deck. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you thought of the deck. Um, anything else that you've been playing, that you've been having fun with, what else you want to see on a stream. Hopefully you all are enjoying the videos and everything like that. But yeah, please leave those comments. They help spread the videos. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.